Hi guys, this Akarang challenge is called Bon Appetit and it is under the algorithms practice section under the implementation category. So here we have two people, your names are Anna and Brian, and they are sharing a meal at a restaurant. So when the bill comes, you would expect that uh, we would just need to sum up every item or the price of every item on the bill and then divide it by two to get how much both of them have to pay. But the issue here is that there is one item on the bill that Anna does not eat. So Anna is always paying less than Brian. Let's say we have an array like this here. The bill is two, four, six, but Anna did not eat the item at index two, which is the item with the price of six. In this case, Anna's part is going to be two plus four, which is six divided by two. So Anna will only need to pay three and not six. She would pay six if she had eaten everything on the bill. That would be two plus four plus six, which is 12 divided by two, and then we would get six. But in this case, she only needs to pay three. So she only pays for what she eats. So in this hacker rank challenge, what we need to do is figure out what is the bill for Anna and then verify if whatever amount that she's asked to pay by Brian is correct. If it is correct, then we print out Bon Appetit and if it's not then we just print out the change that brian has to give her so the solution here is on my right i have already written the code for this we have this function called bon appetit and it takes in three parameters first is an array corresponding to the bill that is a dynamic array so it's a vector of integers that i'm passing by reference and then we have an integer variable called k also by reference and k corresponds to the index of the item on the bill that Anna does not eat. And then B is the amount that Anna is asked to pay by Brian. So in the implementation here, in the definition for that function, I have an integer variable called sum that I'm initializing to zero to avoid having a garbage value by default. And then I'm looping through the dynamic array. I'm accessing every item by reference on the bill. And then I am just summing up all of them to get the, the total. So once I have the total, I can figure out how much Anna has to pay. So to get that value, I can simply say the sum, which is the total, minus the item that Anna did not eat, which is the item at index K on the bill. And then I can divide that by two. So I have parentheses here. So this is going to be calculated first. And then I divide that by two. So that is what Anna needs to pay. If whatever I got here, that value, which is what Anna needs to pay, if that value is equal to the value of B, which is the amount that she is asked to pay by Brian, then I will just print out the string Bon Appetit. Otherwise, I will just get the difference here by saying B, which is the amount she's asked to pay, minus the actual amount that she needs to pay. And then I will print this out with this C out statement here. Um, now, again, if you've not seen this style before, I can have these uh, all on one line because they are single statements for these conditions. So we don't need to return anything. It's a void function, uh, but we can just run this code now and make sure that we pass the sample test cases. So we just did. So now I'm going to submit this code. Let's just make sure that we pass all the test cases and we just did. So that's it for this hacker rank challenge. If you liked my solution in this video, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications and drop your questions in the comment section. I'll catch you next time. Bye.